In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Vaco 5020 roller spring system. This has a balanced spring and very few parts. It's very easy to assemble. Here's what's inside this roller tube. There's the control end, a spring, and for larger shades, you can add additional spring units. And the stopper end, and then the idler um, end unit that attaches into the other end of the bracket. And then we have two brackets. So it's minimal parts, very easy to assemble, and this uses the 38 millimeter tube. So let me show you how to put all this together. I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble the 5020 cordless balanced spring for the roll of shades. And we'll start with the control end. This is the stopper wheel. And you want to make sure that this wheel is turned all the way to the open area here. And this is where we're going to join the spring until the wheel stops. That's going to go into the tube and make sure that the smallest opening of the wheel goes over the spline in the channel. So I'm looking for that right here. The smallest opening of the wheel goes into the spline. And just, just um, let it stick out a little bit. Don't let go, it'll just go inside the tube. And I have the shade rolled up. Next, we're going to add the spring unit to the stopper. And that fits together like puzzle pieces. Brilliant. There are arrows on the spring unit. I'm just gonna color that in so you can see. Right here. Well, you might not be able to see very well, but there's arrows facing. That way, that's the direction that you want to tighten the spring. So I'm going to turn the spring housing three times, full turns. That's one. I can tell by that pencil mark I made. Two. And hold on to it. You don't want to let it go. It'll unspring, and then you'll have to replace it. Three. Now that's going to go into the tube over the spline and that'll hold it in place. Now, if this was a large shade, I could add an additional spring unit, do the same thing, tighten it three turns and then keep going. But I'm gonna take this off. We only need one spring for this shade. Next, I'm going to attach the adjuster wheel, and this is what gets inserted into the brackets. You also can make adjustments to the tension with the wheel. That goes in like a puzzle piece. And then push that firmly into place into the tube with the biggest opening over the spline channel. So I gotta find the biggest opening there, which is right here. And that fits in and then press that firmly in place. Now let's put the opposite end together and that takes the idler in and that does have an adjustable pin, which makes it really easy to install. This does require an adapter for this size tube, lining up the large opening with the splines in the tube. This might be tight, so give it a good push and then add the adjustable pin in and lining that up so it fits. All done there. And now we have an assembled Vaco 5020 spring roller shade system. I'm going to show you how to remove the spring units from the roller shade and there's a lot of tension under on the spring, so you wanna be careful doing this. I'm just gonna place a cloth underneath the end, the spring end, 
and then start to pull this out and make sure that the shade is in a closed position and start pulling out the, there it comes, the end plug. And I should be getting close to that first spring. So I'm gonna bring this cloth over there in case it shoots out. And here we go. Okay, so it unsprung. Now I can safely pull it out. And now I can replace the spring if I need to. Or if I need to add another spring for more tension. I wanna show you how to tell the difference between a bad spring unit and a good spring unit. So this was one that we broke on purpose so that we could do this demonstration. And it's, it doesn't have any spring to it at all. It's just stiff. And this is a good spring. See, it has some action. So you do wanna make sure that you test your springs to make sure you have a good spring and that you haven't accidentally unsprung the unit before you put it into the tube. 